Today, there's something special that I want to share um, from someone who's truly changed my life. <clears throat> and there's a teaching on this book, amazing book. I don't know if you can see it there. Um, let me wait for the bike to get through. There's some, uh, Matt Khan has incredible teachings and, and very deep, amazing stuff. And one thing that I love about this book is when he talks about the personal love statement, right? And he talks a lot about the inner child and healing that, right? Well, everyone's talking about healing the inner child, and I think he has amazing ways of doing that. And one thing that I love is that we all, I, I believe most, if not all kids, I don't know, but definitely most kids, right? There's some kind of wound from childhood, and it doesn't need to be huge. People think it needs to be like a traumatic experience, like a huge, insane traumatic experience that no one else would survive, right? It doesn't need to be that way. Sometimes it can be neglect. It can be little things that, as a kid, because of who they're coming from, really impact you, right? We grow up around people that we look up to them so much, right? We're just a little kid and we look up to them. They're our heroes, right? Superman and Superwoman and, and everyone that we kind of rely on, right? So something that might be a little painful at that age, coming from someone who you love, mother, father, or someone else, can be extremely painful, right? And a lot of people ignore that, which is okay. Whenever the person's ready, they'll be able to actually face that and heal that. But I think healing that is one of the most powerful things that we can do. I've seen that in my own life and with my clients and people that I help. And sometimes there, there are things that we wish those people would have said to us, right? And we can't go back in time. We can't go and just beg for them for for them to say it now because it might not be the same one thing that we can do is what we can actually say to ourselves you can actually say that to your inner child and believe me that inner child is waiting for you to do just that believe me and one thing that I've realized on my journey that I've learned is that even when it comes from other people it doesn't affect you the same way because how many people maybe tell you that you look beautiful and you don't believe them or deep down maybe you don't feel good enough you don't feel worthy so you don't accept that compliment right maybe they tell you they love you they really care about you but there's something inside of you that doesn't trust it right maybe it's a fear maybe it's a subconscious thing that's going on but when it comes from you, that's when it has the most power. That's when it can actually impact you in a very, very positive, nice, loving, beautiful way. And what Matt, what Matt offers is that he teaches a lot about saying, I love you, right, to your own inner child, to your own heart. But he has a good point that sometimes the word, I love you, the words, I love you, they're kind of connected to someone who actually hurt you, right? Maybe a parent that told you, I love you, and then they disappeared and you never saw them again, or someone who told you, who actually hurt you and said, I love you at the same time, because maybe they felt bad and they wanted to kind of cover it up, so they say, I love you. Maybe someone who was telling you, I love you, and they really never kind of meant it, or you felt like they didn't mean it. Um, so maybe those words, might actually trigger some like negative things um, but what he talks about the personal love statement which what I love about it is that your personal love statement will not be the same as mine and your personal love statement can change every month every week every single day mine changes all the time 
but it's whatever you feel like you need to hear at that time. Whatever you feel like your inner child, whatever you feel like your heart needs to hear from you at that time. So even the mosquitoes are driving me crazy. Even if you have an interaction and you wish that person would have said something to you, what if you just say it to yourself, right, in your mind, just talking to your own inner child. So I just wanted to share some of them with you because they're really, some, some really nice ones. Uh, let me get the page right. So there's one, you matter, you're enough, you're worthy of being seen and heard. I think that's a huge one, huge one. You're special, there's a reason you're here, you're beautiful, right? I always want to know how you feel. That, that really develops a relationship with your inner child. When people talk about healing your inner child, it's about developing that relationship with your inner child. Uh, please don't hold back, that's a nice one too. Uh, I'm so blessed and honored to have you in my life. That's beautiful. Thank you for forgiving me. I'm going to definitely make another video about that because it's beautiful when I asked my inner child for forgiveness for neglecting it, him for so long, for not following the messages that he was giving me, right? It's beautiful to actually ask for forgiveness. So I'll definitely make another video about that because that's a really nice topic. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry for all that I have done to you. I didn't know how deeply you were hurt. Uh, some really, really beautiful... I'll show you the book again. I'll put a link below where you can get it too. Um, really, really beautiful messages that... Let me just put the book down. Uh, that... It's, in, it's incredible, it's amazing how it can deepen your relationship with yourself. I've heard a lot of people say, I feel disconnected with myself, and I felt that way too. That's why I took that road trip that I went away for three and a half months, just traveling around the country, because I felt disconnected with myself. What if that's one of the reasons why? Because you don't develop that relationship with your inner child. You haven't healed, you haven't talked to or listened to your inner child and I think starting with that with what I just shared it's such a beautiful beautiful way to actually open that relationship up and, and, and start that dialogue back and forth and just there's many ways to heal the inner child I believe there's a lot of ways and in my opinion this is one of the best and one of the most beautiful ones that you don't need to be working with a coach you don't need a seven step program you don't need a 21 day whatever you can do this in your home by yourself at your own pace right everyone needs a different pace for this right at first it might trigger a lot of things it might be very challenging it might feel weird you might think you're going crazy for doing this but believe me it's one of the most beautiful things you can do so I just want to introduce that idea to you. I'll definitely make more videos about this. I'm definitely going to make more videos about Matt's teachings because it's incredible. I went to his five-day event. It was one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had. I might actually make a video about my experience there so that anyone who's thinking of going um, might get some, I don't know, a different perspective. It was beautiful, 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 and I'm going to the next one. I can't wait to get to the next one. So that's it for this one. I'm going to be sharing more. I hope you liked it. Uh, share the video with someone if you think it might help them. And please subscribe if you're new to the tribe. I would love to have more people in the community who, who, who are into this kind of stuff. And, and, and we're on the same journey. We're all on this journey together. We're trying to heal. We're trying to... We're going to be happy, healthy, and I just wish that maybe there's a way that I can help and we can kind of walk this path together. Um, so, a huge thank you from my inner child to yours. Um, thank you, I appreciate you watching and appreciate all the support and thank you thank you thank you have a beautiful day and write down below if you want in the comments what your personal statement will be and let me know what happens when you try it out
very curious to, to hear your experience. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Have a beautiful day.